Hi guys, this is your furnace. Your furnace is the most expensive component of your entire house. And your furnace needs a clean filter to run correctly. I will show you how to change that filter. It's going to save you money on operations and it's going to make your furnace last a lot longer. And you can do it yourself. It's super easy. In fact, the manufacturer of the machine made it so you can do it. So that you do it, right? Does your furnace filter look like that? Nasty. Well, it's time to replace it. Hello people of YouTube. I am recommending that if you have not changed your furnace filter in the last three months, that you go change it right now. Changing your furnace filter is actually very quick. You just pull out, well, shut off the unit, pull that filter out, put the new one in, and then um, you're good to go for another three months. Your furnace and air conditioners probably together if you have central air. If you have forced air heat, you have a furnace filter. Guaranteed. If it blows air, you have a filter. And if you have a filter, it's recommended that you change it every quarter, but you should look at it every month. First, and most importantly, shut off your unit. If you don't know how to shut off your furnace, then check your owner's manual, because if it is running and air is circulating through it, if you pull the filter, the dust will break loose that's all around your filter and it'll get sucked right in directly into that unit. I'm lucky I just have a simple on and off switch right here. See that? So I can just shut my machine off. So if you don't have an on and off switch on your furnace then you can just simply go to your thermostat control and uh, turn it off right there. There that just shut the system off You'll have to let the fan, actually shut off the fan too. If you don't have the capability either way of uh, shutting it off here or there, then you might be able to shut it off at your circuit breaker box. What I recommend though is if you've never done this before, you really should have a furnace inspection anyway every two years. Just have them tell you where to shut it off when they do your furnace inspection. You basically just remove the cover or find where that air filter is located. It's going to be located where your when your air return from your house goes into the machine. And that's that simple. It's right at the entryway. Before I change this, I'm going to pull it out and take a quick look. It just slides out. It's just a piece of cardboard and it's very light. Sometimes it's kind of stuck. The side of it looks like it's in good shape, but I'm going to take a look and see what size I need to go get and then also notice which way it points for the airflow before you take it out. An additional tip for you when you pull out your air filter and you see that the airflow is pointing this way, make that note on the hard part of your furnace. So I just simply like that. Then you'll know because in three months when you change your filter again you won't remember. So write it down right away okay let's go get a new filter i happen to have one i'm a good boy i bought several when i was at the store so i don't have to go to the store and you don't have to wait for me it's right here the same exact size notice the airflow direction we're gonna unwrap it okay again furnace is off i shut off the off switch and i don't hear it running at all the fans have all stopped the hot parts are not hot anymore doesn't matter you're not put you're not putting your hand into the machine at all so basically even if it's not running you can just change it it's really easy it takes you a few seconds okay I'm almost there pull that cover that I showed you put it to the side these are usually sharp so be careful so again you're gonna find that air filter you're gonna get get in there pull it out carefully and I recommend look at that dust on there that's only a few months worth definitely needs changing it should look uh, it should look like this one nice and clean okay you don't have to reach in there and do anything with it but if if you feel like vacuuming that out as long as you are safe and your machine is off then go ahead I am gonna take a peek with the flashlight okay I'm gonna show you another angle that's from underneath 
This is where the filter is sitting and that's what it looks like inside your furnace. The air comes from inside your house from your cold air return vents. It's the vents that have suction. They suck into the wall. That air comes into here right through through where the filter is which is right where the camera is right now and then this motor pushes the air back through the heating the heating part of the furnace so that's what the inside of your furnace looks like where your air is returning you're not seeing where the flame is that's on another part of the furnace which we are not accessing that's actually up here right in this area Okay, it's very clean in there, and uh, so it's ready to go for this to carefully be put back in. Again, it's very easy. You go with airflow pointing that way. It doesn't matter if it's this direction or this direction. It could go either way. Airflow aims toward your furnace. It's that simple. Okay, now you fit it in there. Okay, so it'll be a tight fit. You might have to push it in and wiggle it a little bit you can see it's very nice and tight it has to go straight in if it if it tilts one way or another it's not going to fit there you go carefully put it in so you don't rip the material all the way in you may have to back it up and push it the rest of the way there you go and it's flush with the top so we're ready uh, to put the access panel back you may not have an access panel. Some air filters are a lot thinner than that and it just sets in there and you don't even have to remove a cover. Mine is larger and so you have a cover. And all those sounds you make make you sound more important. People in your household will hear that through the vents and they'll think, man, he's really working hard to maintain our furnace. <laughs> okay, it's in place. Simply turn it back on. Now that you've installed the new filter, you can turn your furnace back on and then turn the fan uh, to on. I always have my fan circulating, which is why I need to change the filter more often. Also, do not ever buy a house until you have the furnace inspected. And if the inspector finds a problem, have the current owner get that fixed before you offer to buy the house. Or you can write it as contingency in your offer that that item be fixed. Also, when I look at a house, I pull the filter up and take a look at it. And with that, your furnace is going to light up, or if it's summer, your air conditioner is going to go. Forced air runs, whether it's an air conditioner or a furnace, it runs through the filter. The filter takes out the things that would kind of otherwise wreck your furnace fan, and your furnace will be a lot more efficient. So, yeah, get that checked out. Be safe, be efficient, have fun, change your filter, It'll only take you five minutes. Do it four times a year. It'll at least cost you 20, 30 bucks for the filter. And you are saving money on your heating and uh, air conditioning bill by doing this. And it's the right thing to do. Well, no, it's the responsible thing to do. It's the smart thing to do. Write the comments if you have any experiences with putting in your furnace filter or not putting in your furnace filter. Those are really the stories I wanna hear. What happened if you didn't change it? Tell me your story.